Well, my name is Jorge Lozano. I am originally from Mexico. Um, I went to the University of UANL. I graduated in mechanical and electrical engineering uh, and continue on with my master's degree in mechanical engineering with an orientation in thermal engineering. One of the things that got me interested into doing a master's uh, was mainly because of this part of CFD analysis, which I got to learn a little more at the end of the last year of my bachelor's degree with Skilllink and basically continue on with my project in my master's. As I mentioned before, I began taking a Skilllink course in 2018, beginning of 2019, which I started with the CFD introduction to MATLAB and Open Foam course. I started doing them while having an internship and currently finishing my uh, bachelor's degree, which thankfully uh, got me a little more knowledgeable on the topic of CFD, their applications in refrigeration, in HVAC uh, applications, and Later on, I took another course with a pre-processing advance for CFD, which was honestly a really good course and helped me not only understand a little more about the part of the pre-processing, uh, all the meshing, all the tools that a specific software has, and later on the effect that it has in a CFD simulation. Well, honestly, I love mechanical engineering and in my internship, I got thankfully the, the possibility of being in a company where one of the main products was a refrigeration product. And uh, just by seeing not only production, the manufacturing part of it, but also understanding how it works, how it uh, can be upgraded, a specific uh, system or specific part components uh, involving CFD, involving a little more than just testing in real life, uh, definitely got me uh, a little more interested into the topic. And India is honestly one of the countries with the highest um, amount of people or engineers working with this. So I literally typed skilling and got to know a little more and more into their courses. The One of the main things that I really liked about Skilllink is that their courses have not only projects, but projects with real life applications in their different branches of CFD. Basically, that's one of the main uh, reasons of why I stumbled into Skilllink. It would kind of be a bit difficult, but uh, what I'm thinking right now is not only it has, like by taking the courses, not only it has given me the possibilities to know the possible uh, ways of not only understanding a problem in CFD, but also seeing it in real life and seeing the different possibilities on how to solve it, on how to do or design a design of experiments but what i how i would rate it is before i knew there was a problem and after the courses i knew how to get to the solution or to the answer so basically skilling or these courses have given me the possibilities to build a ladder or a path between that connection of the unknown to the known With every course, as you mentioned, I have uh, different technical support engineers. Uh, I remember one of them was Mahul, and he was uh, definitely 
not only very helpful, but whenever I had a question, I would text him or send him an email and he would always reply uh, right away. So in terms of the feedback or someone to answer a question or to solve doubts from skilling and honestly, I didn't have any, any issues there. Everything was awesome. And a lot of uh, technical support engineers not only give you a yes or no answer, no, they explain to you, give you the resources and uh, explain you basically from, from basics to a, a, an advanced uh, way of, of, of understanding whatever you're talking about. So one thing I would say, it's part of the experience. Even though uh, it, we have different, we live in different countries, different time zones, uh, different languages. Honestly, part of it is practicing not only English, but also um, understanding that uh, we are humans. And uh, even though uh, we either are studying, working, uh, as I mentioned, the technical support engineer was always there and replied to me within one day, honestly. So from my perspective, the term or the point of the uh, time zone, it was part of the experience. Of having completed a specific course in skilling is having that support of not only um, having someone from the, the career success team uh, help you build your LinkedIn profile, your curriculum on how to identify what a company in a specific country is looking for in an engineer. It could be for a manufacturing company, for a research company, and skilling has definitely um, taken this to the next step in relation to uh, helping students uh, understand what different companies are looking for. While doing the first course, I got to not only practice my English, but also understand uh, another engineering perspective from someone else from around the world. And honestly, I would wouldn't put it as a difficulty, I would put it as, a, uh, as an experience. Definitely, without a question, I would give it a 10, uh, not only because of the right away feedback, but also uh, because of the content that these courses have, the wide amount of um, branches within engineering, you guys have all of them, if not like most of them, if not all of them. So in different aspects of, of uh, looking at the course, not only do I have uh, teamwork, but also quality, efficiency. I have a right away feedback. So I would get, definitely give it a 10. definitely depends on um, what you're looking for, but skilling, it has descriptions within every course and it has a simple way to, uh, for, for the clients or for everyone to understand uh, those, those type of uh, benefits while doing a course. So if you're looking more for a research type of course, a more academic or a more uh, work related, you can definitely go to their uh, website and look for whatever you're looking for. And if you have any questions, I believe you can contact someone from Skilling and they can definitely give you uh, a better understanding. One thing that I would say uh, for everyone, for anyone interested, uh, it would be that uh, Skilling can give you the possibility of preparation for an engineer, in my, in my case, 
and when an opportunity shows up it's um, really good when you have this type of background not only in CFD but with international relationships mm -hmm. uh, in, in any company or uh, in an academic uh, profile basically.